hello friends and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm finally gonna do the full face of morphe yay anyways so right now i haven't done anything obviously to my face um no primer no eyebrows nothing typically i would never do my eyebrows on camera just because i'm not like um i guess i don't feel that confident like i don't feel like my eyebrows always come out on point still struggling with those but for the sake of this morphe um both yeah full face of morphe First impressions, I guess, I'm going to have to do my eyebrows on camera because um, it consists of a pomade and a pencil. I'm um, looking for the pencil. Um, so here's the pencil. The pomade's in hazelnut. It also came with, you know, this little brush and um, like this fully in the brush. But I, for, I'm not going to use it, guys, because I have one already. And, you know, maybe I can give that one to someone. So I don't really want to open something that I'm not going to, that I don't need to use. Um, also, I have this... Um, it's called O oh Brow Baby Morphe Concealer, um, Highlighting Concealer. That's supposed to go under the eye. It's very creamy. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys right here. You see how creamy it is? So I'm going to use that as well to probably um, set, put conceal my eyes because I, I have a concealer, but it's not light enough for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to incorporate everything today as far as my eyeshadow, everything, like I said, it's full face of Morphe. The only thing that I don't have is the setting powder or the primer for Morphe. Um, I have a setting spray so I can set my face um, with that later. So for today, because I do have to set my face, prime my face with something because it's very, very dry. I'm going to go ahead and use this Tatcha Silk Canvas um, Primer. Uh, this one is uh, pretty pretty tried it it was like not pigmented now typically with pencils at least the ones i've been using you have to kind of warm them up before even using them so what i do is i will warm them up on the back of my hand until i get some pigment coming off of them you know there you go it's, it's a struggle with this one i will be honest and then i will start underneath and i will start to define my eyebrow you know draw the line underneath and it's okay if you're not too perfect with this part because either way concealer is your best friend guys and it's going to help you clean out the parts clean out <laughs> perfect the parts and clean the parts where you messed up <laughs> so as you can see see it's not very pigmented and sorry the lighting's not that great either right now i'm in my room um so i'm not getting very much pigment out of this pencil at all i have this pencil i honestly don't even know what it's called <laughs> it's like so worn out look um i don't remember the brand i got it in my box it has a spoolie and it also is an eyebrow pencil and it's a lot thicker and has more consistency has more more pigment and you can see the difference, see, like Morphe and whatever this is, I'm so sorry. It has a lot more pigment than the Morphe. So I'm going to pretty much use this pencil to outline this eyebrow. Um, and then I'm going to probably just stick to the pomade on the other side because this pencil is not working for me at all. i um, doing what I can. So then I brush my hair down because the point is to try to cover up the little parts where you don't have hair. So I'm going to, under, underneath it, I'm going to outline my eyebrow. I hope I'm doing an okay job explaining this. I'm telling you guys, I am by no means an expert when it comes to eyebrows at all. Um, I think that I have good eyebrows though. Because if not, I would have to learn <laughs> like to perfect my eyebrows. Because then I would look crazy, right? Anyways, um, there you go. It looks like it has pigment on the camera now that I'm doing this. Um, but really, like, I honestly don't like it. That's the truth. Then what you're going to do is you're going to brush up and you're going to kind of like try to blend out the product. And see how right here, you guys, there's nothing there, but it's okay. No work. Right here is where I'm trying to get the most to like line it up because the pencil didn't really do anything for me there. And I feel like I'm just really struggling with this pomade and pencil. <laughs> My eyebrows are not looking cute. I'm trying to brush out the product. Um, Typically, I, like, I would not do this much. I would not take this on doing my eyebrows with the pomade. Because the pomade should be just gliding on. And this one seems like it's going to glide on. But it's not gliding on at all. <sighs> Lord, give me the patience with this little pomade here. So now I'm going to brush down. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and go back in the places where I went with the pencil. Underneath the places where my hair don't grow. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do my best on camera with this. I might have to do my eyebrows off camera and then come back. Um, I promise you I still will be using this though because... That's the whole point of the video, but I'm just struggling AF right now, like big time. Like, look, you guys, no pigment. Mm, yeah, I don't like this pomade either at all. Like my pencil that I just showed you guys works a lot better. So I thought I would be able to get away with using this little pomade thing and even the brush would be better to use, but clearly that's not the case. See, there you go. Even then, oh Lord. Okay guys, well you guys get the point. Clearly we're gonna say the pomade for right now is 
hashtag uh, failed. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back to finish this, okay? Thanks, but hold on. There you guys go. Now we're gonna move on to um, eyeshadow. And we said we were gonna go ahead and do our eyeshadow with, um, <laughs> I can't find it guys, uh, the brow concealer. What happened to it? Oh, it's so little, this one, because I don't have, let me clean off some of the products. Oh no. I don't know how good this is gonna be guys, but I don't have a Morphe, um, I have a Morphe con uh, concealer, I don't have a eye primer. primer. I don't even know if they have one to be honest with you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use the one I was using to clean out my eyebrows to do my eyeshadow because again we're trying to stick with a uh, full face of morphe even though i kind of cheated on my eyebrows so we're gonna do this because you want a nice space now the one that i normally use and it's my favorite one is urban decay eyeshadow primer oh i love it so there you guys go um i use my brush let's hope that works good now i'm kind of undecided i think i need more um as to which one what um morphe palette i want to use i have the new james charles one use your bello blender <laughs> as one of the candy lover 86 she has some weird ways of saying things but she's so cute like her bello blender this is her like finger to blend her eye shadow or whatever she wants to blend on her eyes but anyways i have the james charles palette so i'm kind of like undecided on that because like it is newer than like the vault but i haven't used either of them guys i'm such a makeup hoarder it's like so crazy but i am now um i do have this right here which it comes with like um it's the warm master blush palette um aw set because again this is morphe products so i try to find as much morphe products as i had in my drawers um and some of these are new, some of them are not new. Um, this one is still fairly new. I think I used it one time. Um, the reason I'm popping it out, it's not a palette. It's, um, it has bronzers and blushes. Cute. I was trying to see if it had like um, something to set this freaking concealer with, but apparently it doesn't. So, with that being said, I'm gonna use the James Charles one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. Like, I don't have a good setup, but here he is, Mr. James Charles. And I'm gonna try to unleash my inner artist right now. I haven't, like, done it. I was, like, thinking, what shall I do? Because, like, seriously, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I know how to do eyeshadow. There's been a mini, and then I was trying to come up with some ideas. Mind you, this is, I have not used this at all. Still brand stinking new. Look at her. Look at her. She's a so Oh, wow. So, and I'm going to use um, this white one right here, which is, let's see. Flashback. <laughs> yeah, flashback, Mary. Um, To set this concealer on my eyelids. Because, yeah, we don't want to mess. But I'm also making sure this brush is not dirty because I use it a lot. And I don't really want anything shiny on my eyelid. So... Let's go ahead and set that concealer. Mm. Well, I don't know. I don't see it that weight like I thought it was going to be. Mind you, he did say, full disclaimer, um, I need to push my camera back. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to be as close as I can, but I'm also trying to be, like, where you guys can see everything that I'm doing and the products that I'm using, but it's, like, really hard. Whew, my back hurts, and I need a drink, so bear with me. Um, who still drinks these? I'm still a kid at heart, guys. I still love squeezes. I love Capri Suns. I love, like, little juicies. So right now I need a break and maybe something will come to me. I had an idea in my head as to what to do. And then I started seeing a lot of people do the colors that and kind of like what I thought wanted to do. Um, because it's like uh, St. Patty's month. So a lot of people started to use the colors green, which is typically what I wanted to use. Um, 
And then, yeah, I was like, oh, no, now I have to come up with something new. But hopefully this inner, release your inner artist um, palette, unleash, not release, unleash, guys. I can't talk. Um, inspires me. Hopefully you inspire me, Mr. James Charles. Sorry, that is so annoying, right? Let's go ahead and get into this whole eyeshadow. So there you go. I set it. And I did the white one flashback to set it. Now we're going to go ahead and... Mind you, these are not Morphe brushes. And I should be using Morphe brushes. This is a BMX 430 Crease uh, Moda Pro uh, brush. Um, I think I do have another Morphe. Okay, I have the E17 one, which looks like this. And I'm going to pack with this one. Yeah, people are probably like, what is she doing? Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Sorry, guys. That I need to get that out of the way. I'm being so annoying. Anyways, let's do this. Enough playing around. All right. So, yellow. We're going to do this whole St. Patty's thing, even though I didn't want it. Um, now, I have to look at the colors. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and use daddy what he calls this green one right here daddy so we're going to use daddy and we're going to pack her like so into this part right here we're going to just get her in there pack her up pack her up i'll get into the camera joanna she's pretty pigmented and as i was saying his full disclaimer was like you need to use certain like primers to get the best pigment out of it all right, guys, I'm back, and um, I'm done. <laughs> it was a bitch, and I still can't really get it fully blended right here. Um, it's a little harsh, but um, I did get done. Again, this is bothering me. I just realized it right there, but here are my eyes so far. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the foundation. <laughs> what I ended up doing is, um, so I use, I use Daddy B, and then I did kind of like a little halo eye in the middle. It wasn't like a drastic halo eye, and I use the color... Um, Sorry, guys, I have to look at this. Uh, what are you? Cape Cod. And then I used ring light in the inner corner. So pretty much B, um, Daddy, Cape Cod, and ring light. Um, and then this is what I came up with. Um, of course, I could have blended longer, and it just took forever. <laughs> and the yellow was, like, giving me problems. But I think it was just the eyeshadow base that I used. So what I'm going to jump into now is the um, foundation. Because, you know, we got to finish this up. So here we go. Now, it was a bitch to find the right color. This is F2.10. Um, it's a fluidity full coverage foundation. It has one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters or however you say that. Um, sorry, guys. That is bothering me. I think it's just I didn't clean this up with. I also went in with um, flashback and I forgot to do that here. And I went in and I cleaned up this part with flashback and I didn't do it on this way. That's why I think it's bothering me so much because it kind of like rounds it off for me. And it doesn't make it look harsh. Um, it looks a little better. I mean, there's more yellow here. Whatever, we're having to dwell on my eyes already. But anyway, back to the foundation. Now, um, it was hard to match myself in the damn store because it sucked. And for this, you guys, I'm going to use um, the Jeffree Star Morphe Collab Brushes because why not? Sorry, why not? Like, I got them right. Um, Alright, so let me put this back away. Don't want that baby to get messed up. And I'm going to get a little closer here. One more time, I'm going to show you guys my eyes. Um, I hope you guys like them. Um, it's been a while since I've done, like, a full, like, eyeshadow look. Like, it's literally been forever. Sorry, I keep going back and forth here. Um, so, yeah. It was a little process when I was doing this on camera. That's so I was like, oh, no. I gotta get off camera. This is still bothering me. I'm gonna fix it really quick because it's bothering me. I'm gonna go back in with B and blend it out. Let's see. Um, yeah, because it's really... I'm not liking it at all. At all. My hand is without a mirror, so bear with me here. And then I'm gonna smooth this out over here. So I don't look so crazy. With daddy. Oh my god. You guys, eyeshadow sucks. Like, this is why I don't like to do eyeshadow on camera. Because it just takes me forever. And if I'm done, I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, it is what it is. Now we're going to get into this. Now, I did clean my face a while ago, so... I'm going to go ahead and wet my face. Again, with that multi settings right. And then I'm going to jump in and grab the Debbie Star brushes that just came out. Um, here they are. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see how it works. I did say I didn't care for the bag. I feel like the bag is cheap. I feel like the packaging is very pretty, but the brush is still cheap. But I mean, they are cheap, but just not cheap in my opinion. So let's go ahead and see how they work, right? 
My girl was telling me that her friend loves the foundation brush. Now, usually, typically, I use the, like, six, but no, I already use a beauty blender, but this time I'm going to um, acknowledge that white six, which no longer exists. It's also through Morphe, and now it's the M6. So, this one's a little bit, I would say, um, not as um, firm as the Y6. This is called the JS1. I just want to make sure I'm actually using the right foundation brush. Um, so I'm not sure this is for the contour or the foundation with love. We don't want to get those wrong, right? Let's see. Uh, I think this is it. JS2. Let's find out. I have to read the back. Um, let's see. Come on, Jeffrey. So the JS1 is the size cream brush. The JS2 is the link precision brush. The J3. Okay, where is... Okay, so it's not telling me which one exactly is to, um, I think this is for under the eyes. This is Queen Blush. This is a J2. It's the Blink Pre Precision bl Brush. And then I guess this is the Blush Brush. So I'm like really confused as to which one I'm supposed to use for foundation, but it's supposed to not firm. I'm going to go with this one, which is, he called it the Size Queen Brush, which is the JS1. So that's the one I'm going to use. Let's hope it's the right one. And again, I went with the color F2110 again. Let's go ahead and see if this matches me because you guys, it was hard to match myself. Literally, like I bought one and then it didn't work out. And then I bought another one. Yeah, so forth. So be. Let's see, I'm scared. Let's go ahead and put some on the brush. Let's find out. I'm a dab. Um, looks okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me move my hair around. Low, baby. This is some full coverage foundation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz my brush again because I've been doing this for a while where I spritz it just to help the foundation out because this smells like paint. I know this the brush is a foundation, but literally it's, it like smells like paint. And I'm trying not to like do circular motions. I'm trying to dab that setting so I did have this foundation. Oh, look at it. Ooh, it didn't want to blend that for a minute. Spritz it in. I still have this side to blend out. And again, I'm stippling out the foundation. I need more. I feel like it's a brush is getting a lot of the product, to be honest. Like, Giri by Bianca says, to be honest. I love her, guys. She's awesome. I like a lot of, like, live people that bless their makeup. Giri by Bianca. I also like a lot of people on YouTube, which inspired me to do my own YouTube channel. Now you want to get down their neck. Because we don't like someone who only covers up to their chin. You know, we ain't trying to look cool easy. FYI, you guys, today is my anniversary. <laughs> and I'm over here doing this. I guess it works out. I don't think my husband's taking me anywhere, to be honest, but whatever. Why not get ready, right? If he does, at least I'm ready, but I don't think he is. I'm going to spritz it one more time. I feel like I used more on that side than this side, so I'm just going to step, step over the setting spray. Now, it's kind of hard to see myself, but it looks kind of... It looks okay. Look. My nose looks like it's like right here. You guys can't see it on camera, but it feels like it's like struggling. Like if my face just like ate up the foundation. <laughs> now you go to see her forehead, so I'm gonna do this right quick and hope that I don't F up my eyebrows while I'm doing this. You guys excuse my hair. It's a little messy right now. I went and got it done and it didn't come out that great and then I went and had to get it fixed and I still don't like the way it looks. So I feel my little loops in that area. But whatever. Gotta live with it for now. It'll grow out. And then I'll just move on to the next. So, uh, I'm trying to get around my nose is where I struggle the most. <laughs> you guys, I can't see anything, to be honest. And I have, like, a mirror with those little lights. Not cute. I don't like this brush for foundation. Mm -mm. I personally don't like it. I feel like around my nose, I'm struggling the most with this foundation and brush, to be honest. For the most part, though, on my face face, like, it came out alright. So, whatever. We're done here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there with some concealer. Oh my gosh, sorry. I keep looking in that mirror. Whew, the brush feels good though. I'm saying like this handle part felt cheapy. It's super pretty though. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty, but it just feels cheap. Um, but the actual hair bristles, like the hair bristles, the hair on it, whatever. This is, it just feels good. I was moving along to the thing. Spray it down. My face be dry, people. I be struggling, struggling. For the most part, it's full coverage though. Look at it. Look at it. Beautiful. Now to do some concealer. I'm gonna put myself in another mirror really quick. Hold up. Alright, whatever. So, here it is, guys. It was actually a good match at the end. 
I just think my husband helped me pick it out. <laughs> so I'm moving along. So we're going to go ahead and put some concealer because I did get concealer. Now this is C165 and it has 4.5 milliliters or 0.15 fluid ounces in it. I love this concealer. I already tried it. It's, I, I really, really like it to be honest with you. And we're going to go ahead and go under here. And we're going to conceal my sins away. It looks like easy gravy. Alright, whatever. This is a long video, guys. I took that on my show. I'm going to use the same brush. Spritz it. And it helps the particles around when you spritz your brush. That's all you say with the beauty blenders. Why wouldn't you wet your brush, you know? Sorry, this looks a little too light for me. But it's not, I promise. It just looks light on this little thing right here. Okay, concealer. Whoa. I'm struggling there. I don't like it. Not the way it's blending out with the brush. I don't like it. <sighs> Whoa. Let me see, guys. I'm struggling over here. I like really got it in here. I had to use my little blender there. Um, yeah. This is not a good brush to try to blend out your concealer with. And I'm not using the beauty blenders on here because I didn't want them. <laughs> and I don't feel like them right now. I think I might have to use the belt because I need to set my face. So this is the look so far. I struggled a little bit on that side, but on this side I didn't show that much. Well. Wow. Alright guys, so this is a close up. Sorry, I was oh my gosh, that was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Oh, showing you guys up my nose, sorry. I have to get myself there especially. Alright, so we are done with the foundation concealer process now. We're going to have to go ahead and we set this one was for, which is, and that one was the JS1. This is a JS2. And I'm going to go ahead and it says a JS2 is a point blank precision brush. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to powder up underneath. Whoa. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm a mess. Now I'm going to use the Fit Me um, and Color Light Medium to set my under eyes because I didn't have, I wasn't able to get the um, setting powder for Morphe. I just... I went to Ulta and let's just say that I didn't remember getting it, okay? <laughs> and that they want to go buy this stuff. I got it at the Morphe store in Vegas. My brother lives with us and my husband's cousin. So, I mean, they were already waiting outside, guys. I couldn't make them wait any longer. So, I just kind of really, I got whatever I needed to get and we was done. I wish I would have got more stuff. Um, So, yeah. So, anyways, this is actually not a bad brush. I like it. So far, I was kind of skeptical on these brushes, to be honest with you, because they, like I said, felt cheap. Like the packaging wise but it actually feel really amazing on my skin they're like really really soft go jeopardy i was worried for a minute not that you need to be worried but i was kind of second guessing these brushes i was like the hype was like for what right <laughs> no it works good look at it okay anyways <laughs> enough rambling about these brushes but they are bomb i'm done there i'm trying to try as much as i can i have a lot of stuff like i tried all the like brow parts Excuse me, the concealer, um, foundation, brushes, brow pencil. So, now we're going to try the contour brush. I'm um, going to put some bronzer on, and I do have bronzer, so let me go grab it. This is not new again, you guys. This is an A8, I have a minimum 8W1 Master Blush Palette. So, I'm going to contour with this. Um, so, I'm going to grab the contour brush really quick. And that one is going to be the JS3 Iconic Contour Brush. I find you, JSC. I totally forgot to use those for my eyeshadow. I was struggling for no reason. My eyeshadow came out really good, though, but it probably would have come out better if I would have used those freaking brushes. Alright, there's a lot of plastic here. Like, here goes these little brushes, JS3 contouring brush. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to go in with Unapologetic, because I'm unapologetic about certain things like that in this video. <laughs> I hope I'm right, but no, seriously. So, Unapologetic is this color right here. And we're going to contour them cheeks, right? Mind you guys, every, I'm doing everything off this camera. So please don't judge a girl if my makeup looks a little crazy. Because I didn't have my eyeshadow on that. I did this eye off camera, also this side looks better. But anyways, whatever, we're not, we're not going to keep going back there. Now I'm going in circular motions and I'm pushing up and not down. With the same color, I'm apologetic. Again, from the Morphe 8W. Um, more master blush palette. So here I go. I typically use the Hula bronzer. This is more like a blush color, two gauge. Um, but the other colors are pretty shimmery, and then the other ones I don't think I would want to try to contour with them. 
because they're like pinkish, they're blush colors. That's like called a blush palette, duh. <laughs> Jeez, always I need to hurry up. I've been on this video forever. I'm gonna hate myself later when I have to edit this video. Watch. I would say I wish this brush was a little thicker because like I guess if you use liquid it would probably look better or a liquid because I'm not really liking it liquid powder my opinion is that it should have been a little bit bigger that's it that's all I'm going to say now I'm sorry I know this is all morphe but I just have to guys um where did it go <laughs> I'm going to do um blush in a minute but I want to find my hula bronzer because I just can't live without it. Like, it's just something I use to bronze my face all the time. I think it's in here. Bear with me. Well, I have more than one. I don't know what happened to my baby one. Hmm. It's crazy when you're doing makeup and then you want to do things and they just kind of might just disappear. This one I hit pan on. That's what I was looking for my other little one that's brand new. And I'm going to go in with this one just to give it a little more color. Because I'm looking a little pink in the monitor here. Monitor. One monitor. My. I just really think one monitor, if you don't know Spanish, because I'm laughing because I don't have a monitor, I have a fucking phone. My dumbass. But anyways, we did over here. Uh, help me at least, it made me feel better, right? Again, second emotions up, not down. Now I'm going, I know I think you put one front nose, but I'm just going to use this one. Because I'm not that big on contouring my nose, to be honest with you. I just like kind of one loop. And that's it, because I'm not that good at it. Um, alright, I have a lot of powder on. Ooh, mm, blush, blush it up, blush it up. Wow, that looks kind of harsh. Killers, sorry, sorry, and I'm back. I got a phone call. I don't even know if you guys noticed. I was missing for like two seconds. I got a phone call. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Goes. This all pinkish color, just because I hope it's not too pink. First of all, but I mean, come on, look at the colors in here, guys. That looks like a red. I don't want to go in with the red. That is like more like another blonde bronzer color. So I'm going in with this one. Wish me luck. <laughs> Mm, look how dry I look already from all the powder. Girl, not cute. This this blush is cute though. Why are you playing? Again, it's called Goals. Goals. Just smile and put it on the apple of your cheeks. I might be looking like a clown because I'm using the monitor. And I'm going to switch myself. Oh, I got to get in now because I put like a lot of powder on my face. Ooh, okay. Technically, I was supposed to have gotten a highlighting brush because your brush has been highlighting already. I feel bad. I didn't use all of the brushes, but whatever. Almost there. Now we're going to find that little highlighting brush that Mr. Jeffrey was all about, right? Let's see. The JS4 is the highlighting brush. Let me find it. That's JS5. JS4. I found it, you guys. Here we go. I don't know if I should use like um there's I, there's like a highlighter in there so I think I'm gonna use that um I also have the pretty vulgar so I'm kind of like mm, I guess we'll find out let's see I gotta check it out because these are not like oh my gosh no look at them maybe that one but I just watched it on let's see let's try her guys let's try her this is babe it's called babe spread a little bluish all right, Mr. Jaffrey, let's see how this works. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I have to mess with this a little bit. That was a little too firm for me. And this is supposed to be his contour. This is... Joanna. <laughs> Guys, I was using the blender brush. I'm an idiot, I know. Like what's going on? Either way, I feel like that's still too like crazy for um. Here's a JS4. I feel like that's still too like firm for even a blender brush. Like this is supposed to be a blender brush. I found it. Like let me try to blend right here. Let's see. Love her so much, but I don't know about this blending brush. Mm hmm. Well, I think I might have to eat my words because this is actually working pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, she did something all right. She worked a little. Let's actually use the right brush this time, you guys. Again, this is the JS4. Um, I'm wrong. JS4 
highlighting brush. I'm going into Babe. And we're going to blend away the highlight. Sorry, hold on. You know, I always struggle putting highlight on, so if this brush is awesome, I'm going to love it. And so far, I gotta say it's pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the highlight, though. You can never have too much spray to highlight your life away. So. I'm so mad that someone called me because now I literally like have to. It's just too much editing, guys. But again, my skin is textured, so don't judge. But there's a highlight. And then I typically put some up here, here, right here, right here, and some on my chin, because why not? And honestly, I don't know how I look right now. Mm, I think I look good. I feel like kind of a clown, though, because I feel like I have too much pink on. But the only thing I didn't use in this, guys, is these, these sponges. I'm pretty sure they're awesome and amazing, but I did use the brushes, the foundation, the concealer. Again, this is garbage. I don't even know how some people even get pigment out of it, though. I, I love the brush is alright. I love the concealer pencil. Um, this brush, well, mm, I wasn't that special compared to the other ones I have. And then um, what was anything? My pencil, this pencil, which I wish I could tell you guys what brand it was, but I can't. But I don't. Remember. It's it's just like I use it that much that it doesn't say it. Was better than the Morphe one. Um, so the pomade in the Morphe one, epic fail. Like was bad. This is the brush I was actually talking about. That I mean. I like this part though. It's like pretty thin. But other than that, I didn't like it. The James Charles palette, amazing. Now, um, the only thing left to do, sorry, I'm looking for the top to this, is lipstick, which I can do with you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a light glam. Um, this is called Hot Tea, and it's more, it's a lip gloss. This is a lip gloss with color, so. There you go. What I am noticing is I have like a little scar right there. And for this to have be claiming to be full coverage, it's not. I didn't really cover that all that great. Mm -mm. I guess the more I tap on it, the more it does work, but still. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face, I'm going to spray my brush, and I'm going to dab over everything right now. And then the last thing I have left to do is lashes, and I'm done. So, like this, you just want to melt everything into your skin. So you can use a beauty blender, you can use a brush, you can use whatever your little heart desires. I have a little for it. <laughs> Someone's over here trying to like do, do, do. and then I have hair in the way and my hair is sticking up. So sorry, so so sorry. So this concludes the look. Um I guess I could try to put glasses on with you guys, but it's probably gonna be a disaster, so maybe not. Um, but I don't want you guys to look, I guess I'm gonna do the lashes. Then and then what you wanna do is also go in with a dark pencil. Like this one is the color pop one. Yeah, it's a color pop one. Um, and then you're going to go in and you're going to look up and then you're going to tie, get your tied. Uh, you get the point. You're going to put this it in there. If it's easier, close your eyes and you can get two, you can get two birds and one stone. Because then it's going to get the bottom too, see? There you go. And same here. Look up if it's easier for you to do it that way. Or close and right in the middle, just glide it back and forth. Um, you might not always get it right here, like I didn't just get it here. So, come on, color pop. This is usually really pigmented, guys. I'm just having a little technical difficulty right now. All right. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is the bottom lower lash line. Oh, I can't believe I made it through and. bottom lash line. I totally put on it, but that James Charles palette away. So we're just going to kind of go back in with the same colors that I went in up here for the most part. Sorry, my face. I was going to burp you guys. I have a mess. I promise I will get it together. Oh my god. Alright, so we're going to go back in with Daddy, and we're going to go back in with a B, and we're going to probably go back in with, um, what was the other one I forgot? 
so what we're gonna do we're gonna look up we're gonna blend her all way down here you see that you'll see you'll see you want to try to connect it with this part and again now you're gonna do the other eye and you're gonna connect it too sorry I suck at this point, you guys, but I try. So, like, blending the lower lash line, I'm not that good at it. <sighs> so, let's not pretend. Now, also, um, what am I going to do? So, I went back in with that, and then I want to go back in with B. My hair, B, again. So, I went in with Daddy right there and B. So, I'm taking this little, um, it's a Profusion Smudger Brush. And I'm going to do this right here. In my inner corner i'm gonna try to get it as yellow as i can i feel like this brush helped apply the b color like a lot better than any of the other brushes i used right now to be honest i feel like that yellow is not really popping up don't do that at home <laughs> i did not feel like grabbing the setting spray and doing that if you want to you can like your brush too girl but typically you could use setting spray because so I know this is going to be a lot more pigment. If you're not using the right base for this color B, you want to use setting powder. Mm. So I'm not going to get it too in depth. There it is. You see that? You see that? And then I already put yellow there. And there. So I'm going to go in with this one, which has a little bit left. Oh! Smudge that baby out. Same here. And voila, we Gucci. Now you can go in and put more highlight in there, which I use the, um, I thought it was bad right now because I thought I had it all. It's called ring light. So you can go back in with ring light and go more down in the inner corner if you want. For the sake of me trying to hurry up and end the video because my phone is dying, I'm just going to end it here. And then just do my bottom lashes and I'm done. And um, that concludes the video today. So once again, here's the look. Typically, remember, I would line that up, but I'm not trying to do that right now, so. So, my overall opinion, right, in first impressions is, for the most part, what I could see. The foundation's really drying. Very drying. So, I would say moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, Jeffree Star brushes were bomb. And the Shade and Charles powder, well, come on. Come on. I was struggling through the part where I was doing this eye, but because I was not using the right brushes. Brushes are key. So, um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this more full, <laughs> full face of Morphe products. Um, I hope maybe I taught you guys a little something, something, like how not to be a klutz and how to have all your stuff ready before you go on um, camera. And um, don't forget to hit, sorry, that like button and don't forget to subscribe don't be shy either way if you're not public i can't even see you subscribe but it would be nice to know because the more subscribers i get um i'm going to start to give away giveaways i would have actually gave away a brush set and sponges on this one but they're sold out um and not just for the giveaways but come on you guys are there why not to subscribe like comment down below um and stay tuned because i will be doing another review bye